Today we're going to begin the first segment in the next wet tuber video series and it's going to be on Strop Shop London Morning, so stay tuned. Hi guys and welcome back to another Shea video and as I said before, today we're going to start round two of the Wet Tubers Pass Around. And the Wet Tubers are uh, Rico from Rico's Corner, Stallion, David Gonzalez, I'm A. Kobos, Busta, um, and I'm leaving someone out, Jam and G.I. James. Uh, anyway, it's about six or seven of us and those that six or seven will change uh, over time and we're just passing things around and uh, shooting videos on these products to see um, how our thoughts line up. And, and, and in some cases, I expect they won't. So today, I'm gonna start off with um, Strop Shop, London Morning, which is a, uh, Strop Shop is a, a brand that I'm familiar with and I really like. Um, I think it's an excellent soap. All right, the puck has been soaking. I'm gonna use the Passan Brush of the Gods and. I'll wet my brush here. Now, the first thing that I notice about Strop Shop uh, London Morning is, for my taste, it isn't very fragrant. So, out of the gate for me, that's sort of a letdown. Uh, I like a little more scent, and while this has a pleasant scent, it's really hard to pick it up. So, you know, that's sort of a, a letdown for me. Um, I do like Strop Shop soaps, but Every now and then, uh, they're a little light on scent. Now, my favorite Strop Shop soap is Russian tea. <laughs> that stuff is excellent. And, and um, by the description of London Morning, I felt I would really like it, but the scent is just a little weak. So, looks like we got a good load. Let me uh, wet my face, and we'll get started. All right. Normally, you don't have any problems at all lathering Strop Shop. It's a fine quality uh, soap. It has tallow lanolin so your post shave is normally uh, very good my brush is pretty wet um, more wet than usual but doesn't need to be that way and uh, there'll be no problems lathering the strop shop so my only problem with this soap right out of the gate just not enough fragrance for me you know um, I'm I'm sure I'm pretty sure that the performance is going to be very good because Strop Shop always is, but the fragrance on this just isn't strong enough for me. Going to use the Razor of the Gods today. This is the Mongoose with the matte finish and the uh, Bomber handle, which is excellent, excellent razor. And I really, really love these Mongoose razors. They are number one in my book in terms of uh, safety razors. Just excellent. Really enjoy it. Oh, and I've been meaning to uh, mention, there's a fellow by the name of Chris Norris from Australia who's starting a web, website called uh, Stubble Bubble, and he's going to have stuff on there about shaving and beards and just all sorts of related stuff. So go to stubblebubble.com and check out the site. I do not know if it has launched yet, but... I talked to Chris about it, and uh, I told him I would mention it sometime back, and I keep forgetting. He's a very nice guy, and so check out Stubble Bubble, and I believe he's on Twitter, Stubble Bubble, as well, so check him out. Also, I want to say to my uh, Australian brothers in Shave the Man, I know you guys don't have a lot of artisan soaps and things available to you at this point but please don't let um, those limitations stop you from making videos or posting shave of the days i really want to see um what you guys are using even if they're just classic products i mean i'm very interested to see how things are going for you guys and don't let the fact that america has a bunch of artisans that are easy for us to come by and we have all these different soaps um, hold you back one bit doesn't really matter how many soaps you have if you have one soap and you're happy with your shave with that one soap that's great so don't let any of that hold you back post your videos post your shave of the days I want to see them and all of us want to see them I'm pretty sure so rinse my face and go for past two 
Um, no, no performance woes whatsoever with this uh, Shop Shop London morning. The only issue again, and I'm going to harp on it, there's not enough scent. So for me, uh, this soap will not be a winner on scent just because there's not enough of it. It might have been a nice scent. I don't know. It's hard for me to pick up um, much other than a pleasant, you know, soapy scent, but just not enough zip in it for me. I'm sorry. Now, the performance is a different story. This is a very good performing soap, and it will leave your face feeling um, very nice post shave, I'm sure, because uh, that's been my experience with a number of Strop Shop soaps. It lathers easily, as you can see here, no problem with that. Slick, creamy. But the scent is just not enough of it. It might be a very nice scent, but I can't tell. Not enough of it. So for me, this is not going to be a winner. I'll be interesting. It will be interesting to get the other guys' take on it. And this is why we're doing these these uh, this series too. Because what I'm what I like, um, the other guys may not like. So it's going to be fun to get all the different takes from the guys. And hopefully, we can include some gals. I'm really excited about the women coming into um, wet shaving in terms of making videos. So I hope we can uh, get them involved in this as well. The razor is performing excellent. This is my sixth uh, shave on this blade. And it shows no signs of getting dull or giving me any trouble. I'm very happy with my two mongoose razors. Um, they are our keepers for me. They'll never go anywhere. Razor the gods, as I call it. It's just awesome. Really, really enjoying it. Okay. Let's rinse the face and go for past three. Very nice uh, lather. That I can say. You know, I like to find something positive to say about everything. And with uh, this soap, the performance, I can tell you, is very good. So it's just going to be a matter of finding a scent that you like and one that is robust for me. And this is not it. So this soap will go, will not remain in my arsenal. Uh, but I have other strop shop soaps that I really like. So. No big deal. You don't always hit a home run every time, but I try to. You know, one time um, a guy was talking about my videos and he said, well, you seem to like everything you buy. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. I'm buying these soaps, so I'm trying to buy things that I like. So I'm reading the descriptions and, you know, I'm not trying to buy stuff I don't like. So naturally, I'm going to get more hits than misses. You know, I'm looking for scents that I like. Um, every now and then I'll go on a flyer on a brand that I haven't heard of, but for the most part, I stick to people that I'm comfortable with, and I know they do good work and good soaps, and so that's why I like most things that I buy. Now, this is a rare uh, instance on this Chop Shop uh, London Morning that it's not a winner for me based on scent. The performance is good, but for me, the scent is a necessary component of the shave and it has to be a good scent and it has to be robust because there are tons of soaps that will perform well but if the scent is missing I don't need it that's just my opinion scent is very important to me it, it, it takes you to places you've been before it takes you you know brings back memories and just generally makes the shave super enjoyable. That's why I have so many. And soaps are my thing, so. Scent is absolutely essential for me. Good scent and uh, fairly robust. If it's weak, I want it. All right, so we finished with the shave. Outstanding job on performance. Um, let me rinse my face and we'll come back and do the post and wrap things up. Stand by. Okay, folks, we're back and we're going to, of course, use a little uh, Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel with aloe, which I love. I talk about all the time. It's excellent. At least for me it is. And just add something nice to the shave. Feels great. 
Um, I love it. It's an essential part of my den. And we'll, while we let that dry for a second, we'll talk about the other equipment. The Mongoose and Matt, truly, truly excellent. Remarkable razor. Hats off to the guys at Bull Goose, or Bull Goose, Mongoose, I'm sorry. Incidentally, Bull Goose will be selling these when they go into re regular production, I am told. All right. Strop Shop um, London Mooring with Tallow. Performance, big thumbs up. Scent, the no-go on the scent for me. This one will not remain in my den. However, I do like Strop Shop brand. I like many other other soaps. There just wasn't enough scent in this soap for me. So for me, it's a thumbs down. But um, if you like mildly scented soaps uh, with great performance, this would be one you would consider. So I wouldn't give it a total thumbs down. Up on performance, down on scent. Now, choose a little uh, Taylor's of Old Bond Street number 74, which I like. It's a lime um, aftershave. Very nice, in my opinion. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that smells, for me, wonderful. I love it. It's just, mmm. Oh, I feel like Paula H. right now. <laughs> I mean, you know, you want to. Come on, come on. Oh, this stuff is great. I mean, if you like lemon lime type scent, I think this is called Victorian limes. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Now, some people don't like it. They think it smells a little industrial. For me, it's excellent. So there we have the shave today and episode one of the next pass around, the wet tubers pass around. Thank you guys for watching and there will be more to come. Have a great day.